Hey SoCal, June is Pride Month, and part of celebrating Pride is celebrating our queer foremothers of color, such as Stormy the Larvery, Sylvia Rivera, and of course, Marsha P. Johnson. Darling, I want my gay rights now! And this reverence for fierce females was on display at WeHo Pride's Out Loud Music Festival, which we hit up for this month's Hey So Queer. Spanning the first weekend of June, WeHo Pride kicked off SoCal's month of queer revelry in the homocentric hamlet of West Hollywood. Returning after a two-year COVID hiatus, this year's Pride showcased queer women of color, such as Grand Marshal Janelle Monet, and performers like rapper Cupcake and RuPaul's Drag Race alum Cornbread Jeté, both of whom turned it out at the opening night of the Out Loud Music Festival in West Hollywood Park. For Cornbread, LGBTQ Pride traces back to queer women of color, specifically those within the trans community. Everything started with um, trans women of color. You know, we, we've learned a lot from trans women, so this is important. You know, show them the roots. Trans and genderqueer minorities played a significant role in these Stonewall riots. Picture this. Greenwich Village, New York, June 28, 1969. A police raid on the queer dive bar The Stonewall Inn ignited a weekend-long street battle between the NYPD and members of the village's LGBTQ community. Most prominently, drag queens, hustlers, and queer women of color, like Stormy the Larvery. A biracial lesbian, Stormy is often credited as the first to physically confront the police and inspired others to fight as well, sparking the riots. Later that evening, Marsha P. Johnson, a trans right activist and self-identified drag queen, joined the fray, most notably climbing up a light post and dropping a brick onto the windshield of a cop car. Work. For Reese Wanzer, a trans comedian and one of the hosts of the Out Loud Festival, the battle ignited by our queer ancestors and transcestors is just as important as ever. As we're the most marginalized people in society, um, especially trans women of color, we've gotten 236 anti-trans bills put into the stream. Honey, it's not good. We have to be out more than ever. We have to be louder than ever. And now we're out loud raising voices. Straight allies are crucial for amplifying these voices. like. Headliner Lil Kim. For many in the queer community, including Reese, this rap icon serves as Kim's inspiration. It's the Lil Kim. That's a huge deal for a millennial. I'm sorry. We love Lil Kim. I'm gonna throw shade if I can't get paid, and that's a fact. That's a fact. I'm gonna throw shade if I can't get paid. For Reese, the best way for those in Southern California to support members of the trans community is to step aside and let them speak. Make trans friends, follow trans accounts, listen to trans people. Like, stop saying the words giving a voice to a voiceless because they do have voices. You're just not listening to them. And that pisses me off so much. Hornbread shared a similar sentiment delivered in her trademark delicious style. Speak up and hold yourselves accountable. We don't get a lot, a lot of respect in specific aspects of the world, especially in the queer community. Um, the queer community is always based around cisgendered males, mm. and it's definitely always based around cisgendered white males. So in this whole thing, if you give the attention to not just trans women, but POC women of the trans experience, as well as just POC people in general, just hold yourself accountable for that and show us the same respect that you'll show the person that you're trying to f*** on the street. Stay proud, SoCal.